I'm Eric. I'm Connor. And, and this, this is a PIO vlog. Sweet dude. Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. You've all been asking for months now where <laughs> Connor is, and I'm excited I'm to back. say she's sitting <laughs> right here. So it's great to have you back. I love being back. I've missed you guys. I've missed Eric. I know that Eric has done an incredible job holding down the district. He's He says he's so-so. No, he's been doing awesome. And he's been keeping you all up to date about what's been happening around our district as well as PIO Kim. She's been doing an incredible job um, while I've been out as well. So I can't wait to tell you all the things that, that I've been up to and how things have changed in my family um, with our son being born. But first, Eric is going to get you caught up on what's been going on recently. Yes, so we had a very interesting fire that occurred on the early morning hours of October 25th. Some of you may have already seen the pictures of it, and it was a fire that happened at a place called Fright Acres. So that is a haunted house and a haunted maze area in Parker. And there's some pretty incredible video footage to go along with this, um, but it's also kind of a sad circumstance. So. The way this all went down, it was 1.20 in the morning. Somebody reported that there was a brush fire near 20 Mile Road and Parker Road, which is in Station 41's first due area. And when the crews were responding, they could already see a huge glow and a plume of smoke coming from that area. When they got on scene, it was really hard to tell even what was on fire because there was just such a large volume of fire visible. And when they got a closer look, they realized there was a small structure that was fully engulfed. It was being used as a haunted house and was full of all the things that haunted houses are full of, including caskets. So the crew of Station 41 actually had to put out burning caskets. And then that fire was driven by the wind and it spread into a huge area of straw bales. And that's what continued to burn for hours and hours into the morning. And we had to use uh, heavy front end loaders from Douglas County Road and Bridge to help break apart those piles so that they could be extinguished. So from about one in the morning until after the sun rose is how long that fire burned and smoldered. Our fire investigators obtained surveillance video that shows two people arriving at that facility early in the morning, long after the facility was closed, and they walk through the gate and then the fire starts a short time later. So the fire is being considered suspicious and it's still under investigation. The fire marshal's office continues to follow up with various leads and they're working to find the individuals who may have started that fire. Thank you all for your continued support and all the great comments and feedback you've left on our recent videos. We're really excited to get back into the station Saturdays. We'll work on bringing you more Fleet Fridays. We've covered a lot of the unique and one of a kind apparatus that South Metro has, um, but as new apparatus get delivered, we'll certainly show those and maybe go back and show some of the other ones that we have, some of the older ones in the fleet that might be up for replacement soon. Along those lines, we do have some exciting news about apparatus that will be replaced 
in the coming year or two, depending on how production times look. And as soon as that is finalized, we'll share the, the drawings with you and what the plan is on some of our specialized equipment moving forward. As Eric said, I am back from maternity leave and it is so amazing to be back at work, getting in the groove of things, had lots of emails to go through after being gone for a while. And I know that the district has been very busy since I've been gone, uh, but as South Metro is gearing up for academies with this next year, we actually had some new probies come online during this year but they're not nearly old enough to be applying at South Metro yet. But here is a picture of my husband Josiah and I's son Braylon. He is now three months old, going on four months, and it has just been the most incredible journey for our family to welcome our son into the world. You know, I, I know that there's so many different age groups that watch our channel. It's anything from, there might be people out there that, hey, you're in elementary school or middle or high school and thinking of a family is super far beyond uh, where you are right now. But we also know that there are people out there who, um, who are in relationships, who have families and have kids and, um, and are working. And so I just wanted to be really candid with you guys about coming back to work. I'll be honest, last week was a little emotional for me after being with, um, with Braylon for three months. You know, you get really attached to uh, the, new, the new people in your lives and especially having a little one. So I'm so incredibly grateful to work for South Metro to be coming back and to feel supported and, um, and, and to just be able to do what I love. And that's what made it easier coming back is having such a great team and feeling that feeling that support. So it's amazing being back. So uh, Connor, while you were gone, there was a lot of people on our YouTube channel who asked about what maternity leave is. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe that's the first time that they've heard that term. And South Metro actually just had a new policy approved for 2021 that you're one of the very first people mm -hmm. to use. So I thought it'd be good to explain to our audience from an employer perspective, yes. what that was like for you and how much time um, you got off and how much time your husband got off. Absolutely. It's a great question, Eric. And thank you guys for being curious about it. So maternity leave here at South Metro, as Eric said, it changed in January of this year. So for administrative employees, which uh, is, is what I am, is you get three months off um, if you are a mom that has given birth to a child. So for the last three months, I have had paid leave. So as, as if I was working, having that support of a paycheck coming in, but being able to stay at home and be with our new son. So I got three months and then my husband, who is a firefighter paramedic here at South Metro, he got a month and a half off, so six weeks. And that is incredible. A lot of the time, um, you know, there are great employers out there who provide that time, but sometimes that's just not an option for people. So we are so thankful for having that extended period of time to just really get in a good groove at home. And then I actually have some close friends online who also recently gave birth and the line members, uh, women get six months paid leave when you're a firefighter or firefighter paramedic, uh, whatever role that you hold as, an, as a line employee. So we have really great benefits here and it's, it's just incredible to actually live it out and to know that that was a great time to really be home and to soak in that time. It wouldn't be a vlog if we did not have our patch and coin and present shout out. So we're excited yes. to show um, what all of you have traded with us. Thank you so much for um, continuing to do this fun tradition. So the first ones I have is from the State Emergency Service in New South Wales. And the person who sent us these came over to British Columbia for a wildland deployment recently and said that the videos and the terminology that we use here on the channel really helped him to understand those tactics that are used um, over here on this side of the pond. So um, yes, we're so appreciative of you sending these to us all the way from Australia. All right, so the next one that we have is from North Carolina. I hope I'm saying this right, is the June, oh boy, Junaluska, that's a great word, fire department, station 18. And if you work for a department that has a really unique and difficult spelling or way to pronounce something, by all means, send it to us so yeah, Connor can pronounce know. it and I can sit here and watch. Even over the past months, <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce things, so. Any help is appreciated. 
So the next thing I have is a challenge coin. It's really awesome. It's from the Recruit Training Command in Great Lakes, Illinois, and it also features the USS Triton. So we'll show you a close up of that. This next patch actually wasn't sent to us in the mail, but one of our deputy fire marshals was on vacation and someone was kind enough to leave a City of Napa fire department patch on his vehicle. So thank you so much for doing that. That is gonna be added to our collection. We've gotten a lot of questions about merchandise and I'm excited to bring you uh, the first step in merchandise store. 911 Patches has been kind enough to provide us with patches to trade with people who want to send them in to us. But if you'd like to purchase some, if you don't have the ability to trade with us or you just want to buy some, you can go to their website. There's a link in the description and this is the newest version of the South Metro Community Patch. Thank you so much for watching. We've gotten a lot of questions about what videos are next. Um, so as you probably already saw, Station 23 is gonna be next up for the Station Saturday tour. We've got that planned. Day in the life of District Chief has been requested quite a bit and uh, Chief Powell has been excited to play along with us. So we're gonna mm, wait. It's gonna be good. Yes. We're gonna wait and pick a nice snowy day so that we can spend some time on the interstate and show you one of the more hazardous type of incidents that we respond to, which are car accidents on the highway. So uh, once the snow starts flying and, and we've got a good day that we can ride with Chief Powell, and he can give us an up close view on that, we will do that. Uh, Day in the Life of Fleet is also coming up as well. So we'll be excited to bring you that. And of course, we welcome all of your suggestions and uh, it's been just great, so. Thank you guys so much for watching our channel. Uh, you guys make, what, make it what it is. So again, thank you so much for the support and for trading patches with us. We're so excited each time that we get to see a little piece of history um, or a patch or a coin from around the world. So wherever you are at, we hope you have a great rest of your day or night and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.